So here I've got my squad of sniper scouts. Now, it may look like I've only got one model here on this table, and I assure you there are five. You just you just need to look really carefully. Just just look really carefully. Like just just concentrate. I know it looks like there's only one model, but you got to really really look close. They are there. I promise you they are just you got to look really close. Yeah, see? Yeah, they totally are. Hey, hobbyists. Ryan from Two Limits Painting here, and today we're talking camo. Preface, you can use this technique on just about any part of a model. And in this video, I'm doing a desert camo on the cloaks of my White Scar Scouts here. I've already gone ahead and started a preliminary base coat and highlight on the cloaks to give it some depth on our base layer here. And then from here, we're going to be building on top of this. Next, you're going to choose your colors. It's important to pick colors that not only complement each other, but also the environment that they will be in, as well as be distinct from one another. I highly recommend that you select different tones and shades to help with the contrast and allow the camo to do its intended effect. First, we're going to take one of our alternative shade colors and start to put down large to medium sized blobs. As we progress through our color palette, we're going to be painting different and smaller shapes. Here's what that looks like. Moving on to our other alternative tone, we're adding medium sized blobs. Making sure that there's a nice randomness to the pattern, making some of the shapes overlap, some of them not, and standing on their own. If you've never done freehanding before, I found that painting this style of camo is the perfect introduction as you don't need to worry about being too neat. Moving on to our lighter color, we're doing more of the same thing, but instead painting smaller shapes. Again, making sure you're overlapping the other colors to create more visual complexity. Our second last step is to take our darkest color and start to put around little dots here and there, as well as wiggly lines or twigs as I like to call them. This will further assist in the camo effect as the variety of colors will create illusionary peaks and valleys on the surface. Our final last step is to apply a shade to our camo. While we did spend the time to paint our camo, our camo is a surface that's still an object that is subject to light and will also take on highlights and shadows. This will add some additional realism to our models. And there you have it. All in all, not too complicated. Really, our time was spent just freehanding all the various blobs of color. You can take this one step further as an optional step and edge highlight your camo surface. Just make sure that you are highlighting each respective color appropriately. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give a like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more of our content, head on over to Facebook or Instagram, or come join us live during our YouTube and Twitch streams. If you'd like to support the channel in a more direct way, head on over to our Patreon and become a patron today. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy painting. Please just look, it's there, I promise!